Hey again, so today's video, which is a little different to what I usually do, which is usually unboxing, so I was actually going to open this by saying, hey kids, this is an unboxing video, but I was like, that's too lame. No, today instead is an ear video on the new ears that I've made for my shop. Now all the ears you see here will have already been sold. This is my personal pair, you guys already know that. But I thought I would showcase some of the new ears I made, like a modified pattern I did, just because, why not? So I'm going to run through them all real quick so you guys can see a sort of try on of them and the camera is making me really white i'm not this white in real life i'm really not white. i don't know why I don't know what to do about the cameras can't really do anything about that but whatever so let me show you the first pair so this is my uh, brand new auction pattern it's called Faye. it's made up of two patterns which I can't remember the name of for right now my phone is over there so I can't check it but these will never be done separately anyway these will always be together in their own pattern and it's called Faye. it's really cute this is its very first iteration it's inspired by bugs and butterflies and moths so I, for the first one I ever did I was like let's do a rainbow you know because well, why not right <laughs> isn't really a new pattern per se, it's actually a modified pattern, this is my behemoth pattern, modified to have holes in it so I can stick my finger in it. But this is what I made with it, I decided I was going to rim the holes with flowers because, I don't know, it's cute, <laughs> so that's why I did it. Just figured I'd show you guys because it's cute, plus I also style my fur and cut them in a different way now, so I was like, we can do this as a sort of update for that too, basically. first pair I've ever done which has been inspired by like a show. These are my Gaura pattern. It's inspired by Gaura. It's not like an exact Gaura pattern because all Gaura, Ga well, Gaura have different types of ears and I'm talking about Voltron. Did I mention that? But yeah, this is basically what they are. So this is its first pattern and for its first iteration I obviously had to do it in purple because you know it's Gaura colours. So that's what they look like and they're really really cute. I really like the shape. And they will look awesome in other colours too, I'm sure. Okay, so I made this pair kind of as a joke. I didn't expect him to turn out as nice as he did. Um, I wanted a pair of ears which kind of looked like horns. Don't ask me why, I just did. He's called Yokai, which is really fitting because horns and obviously for his first iteration I was like let's do demonic colours so I did so we have this as Yokai and I think he's really cute and I also don't have my glasses on so this is Seraphim and as you can see this particular like one I did is really really colourful and fiery, actually reminds me a bit of Del Fox in, like, in this particular way. But Seraphine is inspired by wings, obviously. I don't know why, I was just like, yes, wings. Because you know, ear wings are like another thing I'm kind of into, but not something I know how to make. So I was like, just make it in the form of ears. So I did. So this is Seraphim, and I think they're like one of the larger pairs of ears I have. I'm, I'm a fan of big boys. I quite like big ears, basically. This is Billy Senior or Billy SR because I have a small pattern called Billy, but this is like the jumbo size pattern because for some reason in my brain I was like, let's make a giant version. So I did. So this is what he is. He's really big and kind of dumb looking. He can also like have a lower position too, but I kind of like it like this because it looks kind of bunny esque. I don't know, but I like it in this position. So I have it in this one. This 
is the final pattern. This is Draguna. This is not actually how they would optimally look because this pair is flawed due to like some really incredible idiocy from me, but we'll not get into that. This is Draguna and I think now I've got like three, one, two, three, four, five. I've got five multi-ear patterns now, which I think is pretty cool. So this is Draguna and they were kind of inspired by this character I saw where they've got sort of like ears like this in a sort of demon goatish way, like a demon, basically like a demon ear. So these kind of like demon ears, sort of, kind of. That's where I got the vibes from. <laughs> that's that for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it I just wanted to showcase many patterns because they're, they're new and I wanted to showcase them because they're pretty cute they're pretty cute um, basically if you don't know about my ear shop already I, th I think I completely forgot to mention this at the beginning but yeah it's called Andy's ears everything's linked down below it's always linked down below to my page currently don't have an active website but I sell via Instagram through releases so if you guys are interested, y'all should go down there and give it a follow so you can keep up to date on what's going on and all that. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed and you like to be, hit that subscribe and join the family of kittens around because yes, we're adorable. All my social media links are down below to check that out. If you like Instagram, it's the most active. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen a sneak peek of this video because you know we like to get a little bit meta on this channel. As always, hope you guys enjoyed. Click the circular channel icon to subscribe. To watch more videos, click any of the videos down below. See you in my next one.